up to now you know to describe the type of variable whether it is discrete and continuous from that you can proceed to identify the best measure of central tendency and best measure of dispersion in those lectures we discussed a lot about skewedness but we discuss about skewedness based on the shape of distribution but we have not given any mathematical value for skewedness so let's draw positive skew distribution and negative skew distribution in negative skew distribution we have a long tail towards left side something like this so the more values will be here it is extending towards this side with many lower values so this is negative skewed distribution or skewed to left distribution in the same time we can have a distribution skewed to right side it has so positive values towards this side so the mean extended towards this side so it's positively skewed or skewed to right i hope you are clear we are deciding whether it is positive or negative not based on the stop part but based on the tail if the tail is towards positive it is right skewed the tail is towards left it's negatively skewed now think that this is a normal distribution if the distribution is normal it is not skewed so value for skewedness is zero so if the distribution is skewed to left skewed to left or negative the value for skewedness will be negative less than zero if the distribution is positively skewed one the value for skewedness is positive so remember in your research paper when you are reading an article if you find that skewedness is positive that means positively skewed distribution if the value for skewedness is negative that means negatively skewed distribution how do we calculate skewedness let's see the formula even though this lecture series is for non statistical non mathematical people it is important to understand at least some of the formulas skewedness equals summation x minus x bar in variance and standard deviation we got the square but to here we have x minus x bar to the power 3 divided by total sample and the total divided by the standard deviation to the power 3 this is how we calculate skewedness if the answer is positive value we can simply think that it is positively skewed if the answer is negative we can simply call it as negatively skewed we have another concept to describe variables that is kurtosis we can have distributions with normal normal distributions or distributions with heavy tails or distributions with small tails so based on the shape of the tail we give different values for kurtosis if it is almost like a normal distribution we call that it is mesokurtic if the tails are heavy or flat we call them platykurtic if the tails are small we call them leptokurtic leptokurtic mesokurtic and platykurtic how do we give a value for kurtosis kurtosis for normal distribution we get using the formula of summation x minus x bar to the power 4 divided by n divided by standard deviation to the power 4 
So the value for a normal distribution will be 3. So the kurtosis for normal distribution is 3. So if it is leptokurtic, the value will be more than 3. And if it is platykurtic, the value will be less than 3. But skewness, it is now normal distribution is 0. So it is easier to identify. Because of that, statisticians have modified this formula like this. Summation x minus x bar to the power 4 divided by n total divided by standard deviation to the power 4 is total minus 3. So then the kurtosis of a normal distribution will be equals to 0. Now we can easily identify if kurtosis value is a positive one, it is leptokurtic. If it is negative one, it is platykurtic. Now keep in mind, when you are describing a variable, you need measures of location, either central tendency, centiles or percentiles. Then you need to explain the dispersion by measures of dispersion. Then you can explain further by skewness and further by kurtosis. Let's meet with the next lecture.